Mic check. Sounds good? All right, thank you. Take a deep breath in, starting in a child's pose. Cleansing mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, breathe in. Breathe out. And begin to rest your forehead further into the mat. Outstretch your fingers, stretch your hips, sit your tailbone further back. Begin to take breaths in and out through the nose, warming the body here. Allowing yourself to slow down for these few moments of breath, noticing how your body is feeling, any sensations that you're experiencing, any tightness or tenderness, anything like that. And then just know that throughout our practice, you can always make it your own. Breathe a little bit further, settle down. Just one more moment here in your child's pose. And then on the next inhale, rise up to all fours, your table, all the way up to your cow pose, lift, gaze and tail. Exhale, round yourself for cat. And good. Free up your spine here. Um, what you missed is I just guided you through the breath and through the pose. Thanks for hanging tight. Good. And then from here, tuck the toes, send your hips back, downward facing dog right away. Good. Steady breath. Open mouth, exhale. And then begin to pedal out your down dog, bend one knee, bend the other knee. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Good. Free up any tension in the neck region. Continue to open up through your underarms, your chest. From here, look forward, walk to the middle of your mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Shake your head yes, shake it no. Right away, widen the feet, release your right hand down. Inhale the left arm high to the sky, bend the right knee. Roll the wrist and then roll the entire arm. So take a big arm circle. Finding some freedom in that shoulder joint. One last. And exhale, release the left hand, bend the left knee, inhale the right hand high, roll the wrist. Continue to twist the spine towards the right, and then when you're ready, find your arm circles on the right. Time this with your breath, keep bending the left knee. And release, hands to hips, bend the knees, inhale, rise up to standing, and take the arms high to the sky, and exhale your hands to your heart space. Bring your feet closer together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take a side bend to the right side. So allow your hips to be squared to the front. Lengthen the left side body. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Good, bring your left rib cage forward a bit more. 
Inhale to center. On the exhale, sit into your chair pose. Bring the arms high. Lift your toes here. Drag the weight more to the heels. Deep breaths. Keep hugging the low abs in. And inhale. On the exhale, stand straight up. Inhale, lift the arms, gaze up. On the exhale, forward fold, bring it down. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, right hand down, bend the right knee, left arm high, just for a moment. Exhale, fold, other side, bend the left knee, inhale the right hand high. Sit in an exhale into a frog pose. Widen the toes, sit the hips back. Take an open twist to the left once more, finding more spine opening. And exhale to the center. Inhale, open to the right. Good. Exhale to the center and then head back to your down dog. If you wish to flow through a chaturanga, you're invited to do so. Lengthen the spine back, lengthen the hips back. Outstretch the arms if possible. And then shake your head yes and no here just to release further tension in the neck. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step all the way through. Inhale, hands to your knees, lift your chest. To your right knee, excuse me. Lift your chest and continue to squeeze your left glute, getting into your hips here. Spread your right toes, move it a little bit more forward. And then when you're ready, lift the arms high, full breath in. On the exhale, pyramid pose, lower down. And lengthen here through the right leg. Try to hold onto the floor here or your hips. Left heel can be lifted or down onto the ground. From here, if you can, lower the left heel and flex the right toes to the sky. So shifting the weight back, back towards the left heel, actively lift your right toes from the ground. Breathing into that stretch. Good, right foot down. Inhale, warrior one, elevate. Exhale, flow. You can meet us in down dog if you wish. Take your times with the inhales and the exhale here. Good. Nice, nice little step. Exhale, or rather inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step forward. Hands to your left knee, rise up. Upright your right heel. And Parker, move your yeah, good. That looks fine where it is. And then you can lean forward, just feeling out the stretch. Try to just feel out where you want it, where you want to end up here. Relax your shoulders. Keep feeling this in the right hip flexor. On the inhale, rise up, arms high. Settle in. Just two breaths. Upright your torso, one more breath. On the exhale, hands to the ground into your pyramid pose. And you can keep the right heel lifted at first here. Either way, just try to loosen up through the back. Telescope your head forward and then Sit your hips further back in space. On the next inhale, lower the right heel. Flex your left toes, your left foot. Block is helpful here. Anything, uh, any other variations as you try to stretch here through the right, uh, left hamstring. Nice. Keep lengthening the spine. Good, Parker. Left foot down, inhale, rise to your warrior one. 
and take a deep breath in. On the exhale, place the hands to the ground low. Either hold your plank pose, move through your chaturanga, or head straight back to down dog. Now that we're a bit more even, walk your feet forward, just about a whole footprint forward. And then inhale the right hand off the ground. On the exhale, take a hold of your left calf, shin, or ankle, or your left side thigh, just not the knee. Good, yeah, allow your, your body to twist. Return the right hand, take a breath in, lift the left hand, on the exhale, twist to the right. Let your hips and your hamstrings press back in space so you can start to transfer the weight back. Good, release, lower the knees. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky, please. On the exhale, find both arm circles. So take it back. Exhale. A few more times here, we're just trying to circulate the body freeing up the shoulders, freeing up your back. Notice the feeling in the biceps. Maybe you can even try to make the range of motion bigger. Good, one more. And then from here, you've got an option for frog or crow. Lift your hips, lift your knees. Go into your variation now and then take about five breaths here. Hold strong. If you're in frog pose, just keep trying to open up the hips, maybe going into your twists. We'll, we'll meet in frog when you're ready. Take your time. And then we'll twist over to the right if you're in frog. Good, exhale back, downward facing dog or handstand. Your way back head back at your own pace. Very good. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, rise, crescent. So back here, take your right hand to your right hip and then reach up and over towards the right side, lengthening the left side body. Anchor down your right glute towards the earth. Bend a little bit deeper into that right knee. On the exhale, go in for your twist. Hook your left elbow to the right thigh for your twist. Hands together. You can always lower the left knee down to the earth for more restorative feeling. Look straight ahead or up or perhaps down to the ground. From here, hands down to the earth, lower your left knee, and then find your half splits. Straighten the right leg. So a bit different now this time. Instead of pyramid, bending into your half splits, flex the toes. Lengthen the spine some more, and try to even out your right side chest and your left side chest. From here, transitioning to a gate pose. So turn your whole body to the left, rise up onto your back knee, and then take this stretch here to the inner thigh towards your extended leg into your gate pose. Deep breath in. On the exhale, other hand to the ground, lift your extended leg up and take the foot behind you into a quad stretch, chest opener. Feel free to bend that right elbow to make it happen. Good, and then very gently release just the leg, flex the right foot, place the foot onto the ground and go back into your half split. So shift your shin back in space. It, fe it feels good here to turn the right toes out to the right side, getting into a different side of your hamstrings. And release 
bend the right knee, tuck the left toes, take a few moments in this lunge stretch, shift forward and back. If you wish to take a herb wrist pose, you can. Otherwise, just enjoy getting into the groin area, outer hips, inner thighs. Nice, everyone. Tuck the left toes. If it's not, right leg up. Shake it out or flip. Hold steady and breathe wherever you chose to be. And exhale to your down dog. Really good. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, step. Inhale, crescent. Stabilize. Widen your legs if needed. Yeah, keep looking forward. So getting into this right hip stretch, get a little bit deeper in the left knee if that serves you. And then left hand to your hip, please give your right side body a stretch by leaning up and over towards the left. Engage your right glute here so you can feel this in the right hip. Yeah, nice little flip, very good. And then you can also look up if that feels right, or straight ahead, making sure to still keep that right quad engaged. Full breath here. On the exhale, right elbow to the left thigh. Go in for your twist. Ooh, nice part, very good. Everyone energize the back leg. If you lowered the knee, you can do so now. If you're upright, stay and hold. Take any variation. Two more breaths. Relax the left armpit. Hands to the ground, please lower the right knee. Go in for your half split, left leg stretches. Sit back a bit, chest forward. So notice, hopefully this is just a little bit deeper than the pyramid pose in the beginning. Starting to loosen up the body just a bit more. Lead with your chest and then allow the back of the head to just be in line with the spine. So we're going to do that same transition here, bend the left knee a bit, and rise up to your gate pose. So we're going to face behind. Notice where the extended leg is. Notice where your right shin is. Breathe in, and then exhale. Give yourself a nice stretch down that leg into gate. You have a few different options. You can point the toes to the same direction, point it back. Any which way, just make sure your knee is protected. Lengthen the left side body. Awesome, exhale, release the hand. Lift the leg up and then take a hold of the left foot with your left hand, allowing this openness to occur in the chest, in the left quad. Stabilize, use your core, and then lengthen through the low back. Try not to crunch. Good. Keep the, the right knee where it is. Extend the left leg. Flex the left foot. On the exhale, slowly lower the heel down. Turn yourself forward, and then turn the left toes out for your other side of your half splits. Turn it out. Yes. Good, good, Melissa. Yeah, settle in. Make sure the toes and knees are pointed to the same direction, taking it outward. Gather the hands to the center line, tuck the right toes, lift the left leg. If you flipped here, go ahead. If you just circled the knee, that's great too. Nice. Good, hold strong. And exhale, plant the hands. Flow through your chaturanga or head straight to down dog. Make sure you're still breathing. Five breaths here. And then just notice how your legs feel, your hips, your back. 
Good, take a deep breath in. And then from here, listen carefully, lift your left leg high to the sky. Turn your knee out to the side. Yes, just the left feet. And then find a tree variation, but a low tree in your down dog. Left foot to your right calf. Yeah, let the hip open a bit on the left. Good, left leg high, release that. And exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift, crescent lunge. Exhale, back bend, thumbs to the nape of your neck or goal post your arms here. Inhale, straighten everything, legs look up. Two more, exhale, back bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Yeah, good variation here. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior three. Launch and lift forward. You can stay in warrior three, or if you can, bend the right knee, take a hold of the right foot. In warrior three. Oh, nice. Yeah, hold it. Breathe. Wherever you are, release crescent lunge, inhale. On the exhale, open twist to the left. Left arm back, right arm forward. Stay low into your left thigh. Nice, left hand to sacrum, right hand high. And exhale, plant the hands. Three-legged dog, please, left leg high. Open up the left knee, left hip. Scorpion your leg and exhale. Nice pleasant downward facing dog. Really good. Other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Turn the right knee out. Turn the toes to about 45. And then find your tree pose with the down dog shape. Right foot goes to your left calf area, maybe your ankle. Keep it low to the ground. Yeah, let that right hip open. Inhale, send the right leg high. And exhale, step all the way through. On the inhale, rise. On the exhale, go ahead for your back bend. Any variation, you can even hold your hands behind your head, lean back. Everyone inhale, straighten legs, look up. Exhale, bend, or you can, if you don't want the back bend, you can just stay upright and bend both knees. Good, inhale, rise. Exhale, back bend or bend the knee. Inhale, rise. And exhale your variation. Good, good, inhale, rise. And exhale for warrior three, shift. Feel super weightless here. Your leg doesn't have to be that high. You can bring it up if you wish. Variation there, left hand to left foot. In warrior three though. Yeah, good, keep breathing. And left foot down slowly, rise high. Exhale, open twist to the right, please. Right hand back, left arm forward. And right hand to sacrum, reach all the way up. And exhale, bring it down. Did we already twist? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Bring it down, yeah. And then right leg high, open up the right knee. Hold it here, open up. And softly release your down dog, nice work. From here, turn the toes out and heels in. Walk yourself all the way back to your lifted child's pose. Lift those heels off the earth. Allow yourself to fold forward and curl up into a little ball into the middle and then breathe. Hopefully you feel this in the inner thighs, maybe in the low back, giving yourself a nice release, nice stretch. Good. Inhale forward, exhale, lower down to the forearm to forearm plank, adding on a bit here. Chest is low. 
hips are low. Nice, and then if you can, Melissa, just shift the shoulders a little bit forward. Yeah, good, good, good. Everyone hold, breathe. About three more breaths here. Make sure the low back is protected. Good, Parker, everyone, one more breath. Listen carefully, right knee down, left arm high, open twist. So a little bit shorter of a stance here, find your balance, lift the left leg and bend the left knee. So instead of in gait, now your right knee and right heel are in the same plane. It's harder to balance. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, come back in. Good. Awesome. Release that. All right, from here, listen, tuck or rather lower down to the elbows, lift that left leg, bend the left knee and hold here. Just a little creative stretch or you can straighten and pretend you're in a headstand, crown of the head on the floor and then just hold it here. We don't wanna actually go into headstand. We just wanna feel an inversion. Good, really good and Nice, release the knee, inhale for cow pose. Exhale, ground. All right, we'll, we'll start to even out the body. Return to your forearm plank, let's breathe in. Hold again, glutes low, zipper low. Mm -hmm. Nice, let's keep it, chest open. Shoulders strong here, two more breaths. Nose off the floor and then left knee down. Really good. Keep lift or lift the left palm to the ground. Inhale the right hand high and elevate the right leg. All right, so now you're balancing on that very skinny side of the shin. Bend the right knee, hold on to the foot, open the chest. It's okay if you fall out, it's very narrow. It's like balancing on a beam right now. One more breath. All right, softly release the forearms, keep that right knee lifted. Your hip can be open, your hip can be closed, any option. We just want to release the hip. Then if you wanna take somewhat pretend headstand, lower the, the crown of the head, and most of the weight is still on the elbows here, not on the head. Breathe. Nice, and release the knee. Really good. Inhale, rise up to your shins, your knees lift up. Exhale, hands to the back. Full breath in, upright. On the exhale, camel pose. Good, release, hands to the ground, adding on and round your back for cat. All right, and neutral. All right, shift forward and back, loosen up your body. Take any hip circles that you need here and going to add on. Lift the right arm forward, send the left leg back. Hold, lift from the core, from the belt area. Nice, and then right hand back, hold on to the left foot, please, on the pinky side of your foot. Maintain a slight bend in the right elbow as you keep your gaze down. Try to still look down to this one. All right, hands to the floor. Just the, the knee still up, yeah. Then take the knee forward to the side forward into your half splits. Remain here or start to scoot forward in the hips. Actually, we did forget that other lunge on the other side, so go ahead, go there. Shift forward and back. Thank you guys. And then now lower the right knee for your half splits or somewhat of a full 
here. So slide the left heel as far forward, slide the right knee as far back. There's no pressure at all. You don't have to try to get low to the ground, but if it happens, it happens. So take a few breaths wherever you are. Turn the left toes out, walk your hands into the center. And then bend your left knee, just lift that leg back, reversing our steps, right hand all the way back behind you, lift your head this time, look forward. And softly release. Good, we'll go for the other side. Inhale, right leg back, left arm forward. Just let yourself be flat towards the ground here. Nice. Yeah, lift your zipper higher, round your ribs just a little. Keep your gaze down, bend the left knee and start to hold on to that left foot on the painted side of your foot. Please keep the gaze down. Hold and balance, zip the inner thighs together. And then keep the knee high, release the hand, right knee to the side, extend into your half split. If it feels good to reset yourself, bend forward and straighten the right leg. Good, you can move through that flow or just hold it. If you are ready to explore, you can slide your left knee back Slide your right heel forward. Play with any splits variation that might work today. Being kind to where your hamstring is, your back today. And then for this next, these next few moments, start to turn the right toes out to the side, hands into the midline, bend the right knee, and then lift it all the way back. Yeah, a little bit of core work there and then left arm forward all, and then all the way back to hold on to the left foot. This time look forward. Feel free to kick that right knee high if you want. And softly release. Good, knees to the ground, child's pose, ground yourself and let your forehead rest. You can also let your hands go by your sides. Another option here is go for a headstand. So a few different options. You're in child's pose, you're practicing your headstand. Use that core control. Squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes. If you're in child's pose, just melt. About five more breaths. Inversion, slowly come down and in child's pose, slowly rise up. If you are inverted, take a child's pose for about five breaths. We'll meet in down dog. Send the hips high, everyone in down dog, except if you're still in child's pose. Breathe. Nice. All right. Spread the fingers. From here, lift the right knee high. Bend the right knee. And hold. Look forward to the middle of your mat. Bend the left knee. Hop your left foot a step forward. Yeah, there we go. Good. And then sit your hips back, bend the left knee as much as you can. So bend the left knee and then sit your hips back. Then rise onto the left fingertips only. And then you could stay here or pick up your left hand and hold onto your right foot. And so we've been building towards this throughout class. It helps to bend that left knee. It helps to widen your foot and your hand. If that
that doesn't work for you at all, just keep that right knee lifted. Good, good, good. And downward facing dog. Walk all the way back to your feet. Inhale, rise up to standing. Arms high. Bend your left knee. Take a hold of your left foot. Full breath in. Exhale, dancers. And then low pose. balance or your knees can be rather together just up to you one more breath and the exhale release into eagle pose left leg forward or figure four left leg forward left arm underneath eagle or figure four left leg on top left arm under you can stay lifted or Hug your knees and your elbows just together. Good. Slowly release, unwind everything. Inhale, rise. And exhale, widen the feet forward, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale your way back, chaturanga, handstand, straight to down dog. However you wish to get there. Good. Inhale, left leg high. And from here, bend the left knee. Hold strong in the arms. Just see if your arms feel, feel good. Then bend the right knee. Take one hop forward. So you're a little bit closer. Yeah, there. And then from here, bend the right knee. Sit the hips back rise onto the right fingertips step by step right and then if you can hold on to your left foot if you fall out it's okay <laughs> we've been using the same core muscles throughout class try to relax your neck and good release good leg high exhale and step forward Hands to the hips, walk back, inhale, rise up. And then this time, right side, bend the right knee, hold on to the right foot, lift yourself to dancers, and then eventually bow, reach to forward. And Good, slide up, release into eagle, right knee forward, right arm underneath. Another option is figure four, really nice for the hips. Take your time, no rush at all. Good, stay lifted or round. And any variation that you took, unwind, lift up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale to frog. Widen the heels, widen the feet, and sit down. Take an open twist, inhale to the left. Exhale to center, open twist to the right, and to the center. Two options now. So from here, you have forearm plank. So back to where we were, this time interlace your hands. Another option, if you have a wall, go there now. I'm going to work on scorpion pose or forearm stand. So you're either in forearm plank or you're here, walk your feet forward. Remember this bent knee action, look straight down, eventually you'll be able to stack your hips and then slowly moving in to a scorpion. If you have a wall, that's great. This is a slow and steady pose that you will eventually keep working towards over time. If you are with me in forearm plank, you can start to twist your hips to the right twist your hips to the left. So 
take your time. Nice, Parker. Everyone remember to look down. Nice, yeah. And then Parker, you can start to bring the chest through. Yeah, you'll have to slow, slow down. Hopefully that feels okay. Just make sure you slow down on this other side. I didn't get to see Leslie, but hopefully that was that was good. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone, sit back into child's pose if you're not there yet. And then rise up, table. We'll go for a cat cow now. Round. Inhale. And exhale. A few more. right leg, I mean, excuse me, right arm high. My brain is like, exhale, thread the needle. There we go. Left arm forward. All right, and then from here, tuck the left toes. If you want, straighten the left leg. If you want to balance leg high to the sky, just hold. Keep engaging the left glute. Good, very nice release. Unwind, right arm high. And exhale. Good, intermission, other side. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, thread the needle. Taking a little break before we move on, right arm forward. And then if you want, right toes back. You can stay here or lift the leg. If you fall back, that's okay. Bring some more weight into the left hand or just engage the right glute. Softly release the right knee. Bring the right hand in. Inhale the left arm high. And exhale, hands down. Good. Lift yourself down dog. Exhale, jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. All right, really good. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, the right knee. And exhale, figure four. So this next bit of class, we're gonna be standing up straight. Good, let your right hip know this and feel that stretch. You could stay in figure four, you can go into flying pigeon or you can rise up, take a hold of the big toe or the knee, extend the leg forward. Lots of options. You can stay in figure four, you can extend the leg. Good, yeah. Yeah, I like that choice. Everyone hands to heart back to figure four. Open twist to the right. Take your balance, left hand to the knee, and release the standing splits, right leg high. Take a few little bends in the elbow here, getting into your hamstring, and then we'll go straight into our warrior two in the back. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Just a quick flow here, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. On the exhale, half moon pose, please. Shift, bend the knee, and then rise. Hands, left hand to block, floor, anything. If you wanna take the chokasana bent knee, take a hold of the floor with the left hand. Take a hold of your right foot with your right hand. Falling is okay and natural, so take your time. <laughs> good, good, you guys. Very nice. All right, release back, reverse warrior. And exhale, flow through your chaturanga. 
You can go for a three-legged chaturanga here. Upward facing and down dog. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, hop. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good work. Inhale, rise up. And hands to heart. We'll go left side. Inhale, left leg. And exhale, figure four. Hopefully, this is a nice release for the outer glutes, hips, low back. Just notice how you're doing, see what you need. Maybe you're just, you're here in figure four, just enjoying the sensation. If you have the need and feeling to extend forward or arm balance, that's up to you. Make this your own. Nice Lisa, good, strong Parker. Hope you're doing good Kyoko. And then everyone back to figure four. Release the standing splits. Take a few bends in the elbow. Maybe look at your right shin. And then just the left leg all the way back. Lift yourself warrior two. Really strong. Slide your right knee forward more. Quick flow. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. And then exhale gracefully into half moon. Please bend the right knee. Lift yourself there. Use your strong legs that we've been balancing on. Shokasanas are there. Nice, you guys. Really good working. Good. Release. Reverse warrior. And exhale. Take it home. All the way. Three-legged chaturanga is here if you want. Upward dog. And exhale. Downward dog. Five breaths. All right, so from here, look forward, bend the knees. Sorry, I know that wasn't five breaths. My bad, I just looked at the time. <laughs> Lower down to the knee and have a seat. All right, good work so far. Left shin into a somewhat pigeon pose. All right, so that's option one, double pigeon. Option two, seated figure four. Right, so double pigeon is fire log pose. You, you will try to stack your shins. If that's not going to work, you will sit in a seated figure four. So try to find the hip stretch that will feel nice to you. If you're in fire log, you can be upright, weigh down your legs or go forward. If you're here, just keep breathing, puff up your chest a little. Wherever you are, lift yourself forward, find a quick boat as a transition, and then switch. So double fire log, left side, or that's repetitive, double pigeon or fire log, and then, or figure four, seated. Just take what you need and what feels good. And a quick boat just to transition. You cross your legs, scoop forward to the middle, and then have a seat. We'll go here for our big happy baby. Hold on to the feet, sway side to side. Nice work today. That was a very kind of creative um, shape type of class. So hopefully. Everything feels balanced. Lift your feet up to the sky. Balance out your hips. Flex and point your toes. All right, and then just to even out the body, 
Zip your legs together, hands to the mat, full breath in, and exhale, lower the legs to 45. Hold, low back onto the floor here, shoulder blades onto the floor. Turn the toes out, heels in, diamond your legs, hold on to the ankles, and give yourself one more hip stretch here. Nice, good. Both knees hug together to the left and supine twist. Right arm to the side. Exhale, knees up. Inhale, and exhale, release to the right. Look left. Let the fingers curl in. And then from here, inhale center. We'll take a few bicycles or just sway side to side. Whatever you need to even out your body. Maybe even a plow pose. Yeah, thanks Parker, you got it. That's where we were going. Good, and Everyone hug the knees in, full breath in, and exhale to Shavasana. For this one, your Shavasana can be knees bent. I have to release the low back. Breath in, and breath out. Let your whole body relax. Let your face relax. Let your jaw unhinge from the roof and from your upper teeth. Just relax. Press the shoulders down a bit more. From here, inhale, extend the arms all the way up and back. Give yourself a big stretch, arch your back. And hug your knees into your chest wall, a little to the left side. And support yourself. Inhale to your seat. Cross the legs. And inhale, look up, gaze up. And exhale, hands to heart. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward. Hands to heart. One last inhale. And then we'll exhale, bow and forward. Let's do another practice. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Well, thank you so much for taking your time being here. I hope your body feels more released and restored hips, um, arms, shoulders, back, everything. Let me know um, if you have any feedback or questions and see you guys soon. Leslie, how's the arm feel? Good. Awesome. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Have a good rest. So wait, is this? Oh, because you were early. That's right. You were early. Yep. Okay. Hope it feels better. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Kyoko. Thank you, guys.